X-Teen featurette. I'm Chris, coming to you from the old abandoned long chair <laughs> filming location. <laughs> I got a uh, Black Eagle from MVD Rewind Collection. Um, this is like one of Jean-Claude Van Damme's like earlier movies, so like why not pick it up on MVD Rewind Collection because like they have some really cool stuff. Like, I love their uh, slip cases because they have like these like little fake stickers and stuff like Be Kind Rewind, Action Adventure like you get in the old, the old abandoned video store. But like, um, so I'm gonna give this like a quick rundown because I don't really remember it because I watched this over the course of two days like, um, <laughs> I don't know like, it was like really slow going so um, Show Kosugi, and it says Jean-Claude Van Damme, but he's not even, like, he has, like, all of five words in this movie, um, which is, like, really strange. He's, like, the lead henchman in it, and, uh, it's, he's, like, prominent in, like, the movie poster and the cover and everything, but seriously, he does, like, some of his signature, like, kicks and, like, his little spin kicks and splits and stuff that he's known for, but, uh, uh that's about it. So it's like really awkward. Sho Kusugi, um, he is like, he plays like this CIA operative or something. So like his, his sons like Kane and Shane are like uh, his like sons in the movie. So it's like, it starts off with like a jet crashing in the sea near Malta. And these people are like, there. I guess there's like a really, um, like proprietary laser or something on board that's now sitting at the bottom of the sea. So the US wants it, the uh, the KGB wants it, and like all these like Russian people are like trying to find it. Uh, this movie came out in 1988, so like it was a really weird time, I guess. Um, it's like so, like, you know, like a typical action movie, like these CIA operatives are like, oh, the only person that can do this job is Black Eagle. And they're like, oh, but he's on vacation the, this two weeks out of the year. And they, they're like, really, it's really odd how they're like, these are the only two weeks the guy takes off to hang out with his kids. We can't bother him. So they literally like take the kids and ship them to Malta. And, not, and then they contact him and they're like, now you have to go. And he's like, oh, all right. So, I mean, he goes to Malta because his kids are there. The kids are shipped there with some other, like, lady CIA operative who is, like, it's really awkward because, like, she seems like she's, like, a love interest to Sho's character, but she's really not. She, like, plays, like, a mother character, but then there's, like, some elements, like, I've been on the force this many years and you should respect me, and it's just, like, very awkward. The whole movie is, like, actually very awkward. Um... So he shows up and he portrays like, um, he's impersonating a marine biologist to go diving in the sea where this plane crashed because the KGB is everywhere looking for this laser as the US government's looking for the laser. And the KGB is like, what are you doing? And first of all, like, I, I haven't seen many other films with Sho Kushigi in them and um, I mean, I know that, like, this is, like, pretty early on in his career, but, like, his English is, like, not that good. I think I'm pretty good at, like, understanding different accents and things, but he, like, is just so hard to understand, and he just has, like, so much dialogue, like, like he talks so fast, and it's just really hard to understand what he's saying, especially in the part where he's trying to, like, confuse the KGB, like, he just starts rambling all this marine biology nonsense, and, I mean, um, it's just really odd, so they're like, what are you looking for? And he just, like, starts going on about some, like, science or something. There's, there's, like, the fight sequences are just so short. Um, there's, like, hard, I would say there's hardly any action. There's a couple chase sequences, there's, like, a car chase, there's, like, a chase on foot, there's this one part where this Russian guy is chasing Sho's son, um, and that's really cool. Kane became like a ninja in real life, and it's really cool to see him like fighting people in the movie, but then it stops, well he like meets a, like he comes face to face with a cop, and then the scene ends, and it's like the most anticlimactic end to a chase sequence I've ever seen, I think, it's like really bizarre. 
it's like a really it, it was one of the most interesting parts of the film and it just stops whenever he like approaches a cop and the cops like what are you doing and he's like oh man and that's it okay um it was just really awkward Jean-Claude Van Damme's character is like like I said he's only in it like minimally he plays like a henchman to like the worst like arch enemy ever in a movie like he's so forgettable I couldn't even tell you what the guy's name is um but yeah I mean he does some of his like he you know spin kicks shows character in the face um he has like five lines he has a love interest which um he like I don't even know where she came from. I don't remember her showing up, but, like, then there's one scene where, like, he's sleeping with her. Like, they're nude in bed or something, and then, like, they're on a boat, and that's, like, towards the end, and, like, okay, so, like, spoiler alert for the end of the movie, whenever Jean-Claude Van Damme's character, like, dies, he it, it's really weird, because he's, like, a nice bad guy. Like, he saves his, like, girlfriend, he's like, oh, the boat's gonna explode, get off of it, and so she jumps in the water, whatever, and, like, um, shows character, like, like, I don't know, kicks him off the boat or something, it, like, he, she, like, screams for him or something, and distracts him, and he ends up, like, getting, like, sucker punched by show or something, and, uh, he ends up in the water, and, uh, you know, JCVD's character ends up getting sucked into the boat's propeller and that's how he dies. He doesn't actually get killed by the good guy. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I guess in like one of the special features on this, he they explained that he didn't want to be killed by Sho's character because that couldn't really happen in real life. Um, I think this was the second movie he was in. So that's kind of interesting. John claude Van Damme was like sweating the entire time also. Like very, very moist very moist guy in this movie. He got shot in the leg at one point. That was pretty exciting. That's like his money maker, uh, right in the thigh. Um, yeah, so as far as the movie, it was very odd. Um, this release from MVD Rewind Collection, it's really, really sweet. If you like this movie or if you, for some reason, like if you collect Jean-Claude Van Damme stuff and you want this, um, it's really cool. It comes with a sick poster. Um, it's just like the, the movie poster, but, you know, it comes folded up inside the DVD, so, or the Blu-ray, so that's really cool. He's prominently on it. Um, but, oh my gosh, the special features on this thing are, like, remarkable. The picture quality is awesome. The sound quality is awesome. Um, special features, it has, like, um, it has, like, I think 11 or 12 minutes of deleted scenes. Uh, there's, it says, oh yeah, there's the theatrical version and, um, like, there's, like, a 10 minute longer uncut version. It says, Sho Kosugi, martial arts legend, um, featuring interviews with Sho and Shane, making of Black Eagle, um, there's just, like, a bunch of, like, interview content with, like, the people that were on the film. It says the script and screenwriters, stuff like that, deleted scenes, original theatrical trailer, and um, the collectible posters in here, which I just showed you. So, I mean, it's a really cool release if you're interested in this film at all. So I watched the deleted scenes, and for me, those were, like, more interesting than the actual, like, you know, theatrical cut that I watched. There's, uh, there's one scene where Sho's son, uh, <laughs> he's like, whoa, what just done? He's like, fucking does a backflip and, like, face plants in the sand. And then, so, like, then Sho's telling him about, like, oh, you have to do it this way, son. And he's like, wow, dad, how'd you know that? And he's like, oh, uh, the, because this family's watched over by the Black Eagle, blah, blah, blah. And they explain what the Black Eagle means and why he's called the Black Eagle and for some reason it ended up like on the cutting room floor in the deleted scenes. Like how is that possible? It was like, not to mention, it was like the best like piece of acting that show did. <laughs> it's in the deleted scenes. 
Like, so if you do pick this up, I highly recommend watching the deleted scenes because, you know, it was just like, why? How does that even happen? Um, then, um, I failed to mention there's like some random priest character that happened to be a CIA operative also. Like, just very awkward characters in this movie. Like, a lot of weird accents. Not only show, but also, um, there's, like, a bunch of weird Russian accents. There was, like, I, I don't even- there was this one guy that kept switching accents. I don't know what he was trying to do, but, like, he couldn't figure out where he was from. Uh, so, yeah, that- it, it was- it was hard to understand a lot of the time, but, uh, I mean- I don't know, I don't think that this got really good reviews, and I don't think that a lot of um, Jean-Claude Van Damme fans like this movie a lot, and I can understand why, because, you know, you're expecting, like, a great action flick with a bunch of him in it, and he's, like, some minor, you know, like, secondary character that just sweats a lot. Um, <laughs> I don't know. But this release is awesome. I suggest it. I'll link to the uh, MVD Rewind collection. Uh, they have a bunch of like really cool stuff out for pre-order now. I know they just released um, like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is out. You could purchase that. It's got the same like really cool uh, slip with like the fake stickers and stuff on it to make it look retro. Um, everything that it looks like. I forget what other titles are coming out from the Rewind collection. They're they're now available for pre-order, but check it out because there's some cool stuff. And, um, these look sick. They have a bunch of cool content, so... I don't know. Um, would I watch Black Eagle again? Yeah, because it, it, it was, like... It was pretty ridiculous. Um, I think next time I'm gonna watch the extended cut to see if there's any more ridiculousness that I could've, uh, you know, enjoyed this time around. But other than that, you know, thanks to MVD Rewind Collection for putting out gems like this for us all to enjoy. Lawn chair sounds. Do you see the lawn chair? Yep, a little bit. Market basket? Wait, what's my show called? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs>